What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Charmeleon from Pokemon. So I did something this morning that I was planning to do for such a long time. I spent an hour this morning cleaning up my studio, organizing my supplies, and rearranging some furniture. Because I think one day I'd like to do a studio tour. If you're interested in a tour of my workspace, just comment down below. Let me know what you think and maybe we'll do this in the future. So let's jump into today's lesson. We're going to be drawing our character facing towards the left. So let's start on the top left side of the page with the eye. We start right here, start with a curve going up and then across towards the right. Now from the end, we want to step in, just round out the side of the eye, coming around and then in towards the bottom. Let's round out the bottom of the eye. From here, we're going to step up to create an overlap, curve this down and then up. Now let's push the iris and pupil towards the left side. So we start at the very top, round this out, come in towards the bottom. Let's add a small highlight circle on the top right. Now because our character is looking over towards the left, we're going to see the edge of the brow on the left side. So let's start down here, curve this around, and then up. Let's line up the inside of the brow over on the left side, curve this up and in. Now we're going to draw the top left eye, bending this up and out. Let's round up the outside of the eye, so we're going to step in, come around, and then down towards the bottom. Round up the bottom of the eye, and come in. Now we're going to draw the left side of the pupil. Starting from the top, go around and then in toward the bottom. Let's add a small half circle on the top for the highlight. Now we're going to work our way along the outside edge of the beak. Let's start underneath the eye, bend this down and then out. Let's round out the beak and then pull that in towards the bottom. Now we're going to work our way across the top of the mouth. Bend this up and across, and just bend this up towards the corner of the mouth. Let's add the nostril up here with a short angle line. Now I'm going to go back and draw the bottom of the mouth. Let's step down, bend this down and in toward the chin, round up the chin, and then come in. Let's draw the back side of the mouth with the same curve, coming around and then up underneath the mouth. Let's add a fang. And down and up. And we'll add two fangs along the bottom. Start on the left and then the right. Let's draw the bottom of the chin. Come down and then up. Go up and then bend that back out. Now we're gonna go back up to the top and draw the forehead. Let's start on the side of the eye, curve around the brow and then in. Is that another curve? We go up and then in towards the top of the head. Now we want to leave a large gap and draw the back of the head. It's going to curve this around, come down, and then in, sort of aiming towards the chin. Now along this open gap, we're going to add that spike. So we're going to step over toward the left, bend this across, and then bend that up. Let's round out the end. Now you're going to pull this down and just tuck that in behind the back side of the head. Now underneath the back of the head, curve the neck, coming down and out, and then layer the shoulder on top. So we'll step in, curve this up, and then down. Let's round up the forearm. Go out, and down. I'm just going to blend this in towards the first claw. From the tip of the claw, let's taper this up towards the hand, and just round out the edge. Let's add another claw, starting in here, bring this down and in, taper that back up, and we'll just round out the top. Now we're going to see the third claw in between, come down and then back up. Let's go back to the inside of the inside claw, cut the form, coming around and then up. Now you want to layer the top half of the arm in behind the forearm, so we'll step down this up and then in towards the body. Now we want to continue the curve of the neck underneath the arm, bend this down and then out, and then come down towards the leg. Let's round out the outside of the leg. We go out, come down, and then bend that in towards the ankle. Let's line up the top of the leg over on the inside and curve this in, come around, and then out towards the same height. And then we're going to tuck the foot in underneath the leg. We step in, 
for the heel. And round them in, round this out, and go out towards the first claw. And there the first claw on top of the foot. Let's go up, and then all the way down towards the tip. And I just want to pull this back in towards the bottom of the foot. Let's layer two more claws in behind. Starting at the top, and this up, and then down. Curve that back in, and we'll do that one more time. Let's go to the top of the last claw, curve the foot coming in and up underneath the leg. Now with that leg in place, we're going to move over and draw the body and just tuck this in along the inside. And start underneath the chin, feel the body going out, round up the belly, and then bend that back out in behind the leg. Now we're going to go back and add that trim along the inside. Start underneath the chin, bend this in and then down, and then bend that out in behind the top of the leg. Now you want to continue the curve of the body on the right side of the leg and curve the tail. Coming around, go in behind the arm, let's go up to the top, then this up, and then out towards the tip. Now I'm just going to taper this back in and then down so the tail gets wider. Line this up along the bottom of the arm, come down and bend that in. We're also going to follow this trim on the outside of the leg, bend this out, just blend this up towards the top of the tail. Now we're going to add that flame tucked in behind the end of the tail. Let's start on the inside, bend this out, in, and then back out. Now I just want to work our way up towards the top. Coming in, rounding this out, go back out, and bend that back in. Let's work our way back up towards the tip of the flame. Now I'm just going to come down the right side. Coming out, in, and just swirl that back up. Bend this back in. Add one more point. I'm just going to pull this in, just aiming towards the left side. Coming down and then in. Now we're going to move over and draw the left leg tucked in behind the body. So let's line up the top of the thigh over on the left side. Curl the leg going out. Come around and in towards the ankle. Let's go underneath the body, draw a short angle line coming down and out, aiming towards the outside of the ankle. Step back, curve the heel, coming in and then down. Let's curve the bottom of the foot, coming down and then out towards the first claw. Now you can draw the first claw going up, bend this down towards the tip, and pull that back in towards the bottom of the foot. Let's layer two more claws in behind. We we'll start from the top, then it's up down, pull this in towards the bottom, and we'll do that one more time. From the top of the last claw, let's curve the foot coming in and up behind the leg. Now we're going to move up to the top and layer the left arm in behind the head. Let's start from the beak, bend this around, and we're just going to blend this in towards the first claw, towards the bottom, taper this back up round up the top of the claw. Now we're going to curve the inside claw going in the opposite direction. I'll start from the inside, and this in and out, take this back up toward the top, and then round up the top of the claw. Let's add one more claw in between, coming down and in, and then back up. Now let's close off the bottom of the arm, starting from the inside of this claw, come in and up, and then back in. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color, and that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Charmeleon from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe, because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to draw more Pokemon, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.